What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Sky Hill. Where you, I, and our vertically, I don't know if he's vertically challenged, I mean he's being challenged by verticality I suppose, are trying to make it to the bottom floor of a nasty, nasty motel. So now that I know that I can run away from monsters, that's what we learned in the previous episode, this is pretty much blind for me, like I tested it out like one time before this, to see how far I could get and just get a feel for the game mechanics. And then I figured I would do everything else semi-blind with all of you there. Oh, look, that he dropped a fish and some other stuff. That's pretty cool. If I had a wish, I would wish for a fish. I'm probably just going to munch on all this stuff. Get my health up. Antibiotics. I think we can make an antidote out of that. So I would rather do it now than later. So let's go ahead and do that so we don't have to worry about it in the future. Health is a little bit low. And while I think we could probably use... What floor are we on? So it'll cost us 17 hunger to get to the top. Then we'll rest. We need 17 to get back down here. I'm going to gamble with it. Let's gamble with it. I mean, I plan on doing multiple playthroughs anyways. And so let's take our chances. Sometimes I think this skyscraper just doesn't end. It's locked. I need a key. Don't I have a key card? Or is that just like a generic key card? It must just be generic. I think it was on the crafting list anyways. Is that you needed... Hmm. So if I could make wire. Oh, he's going, uh uh, at me. I guess he can't do that. Never mind. We're not going to make any wire. But. Well, what do you make electrical tape out of? Glue and rags? Interesting. There's a lot of cool crafting in here. I think it might be worth it to go back. I wonder if it stays fixed when you fix the wiring. Like if you can help your next playthrough by, you know, fixing the wiring or whatever else. That's what I'm a little bit curious about. Also, there's some vending machines up here, so we could go after those. Let's go back upwards, and we'll see what we can do with some of these vending machines. I'm going to try and fix the wiring, too. Do you have to do it in order? That's the part that... Let's see. To fix the fuse box, I need to... There's another way. I could try to improvise. So I need a generator. Damn, where do I get a generator from? So this over here is going to be a health supply thing. I'm going to take it. I think you gamble, though. You get these coins right here, and when you put them into the vendor, it's random what you get out. Like, sometimes you get good stuff, sometimes you get shit stuff. I've got, like, med kits and all kinds of things out of them, and so just be aware. You're going to have to gamble with it. I can't use those right there. So let's go back up to the first fuse box that was busted. Like, where's the first one that was actually broken that we saw? I mean, the worst case scenario, there it is. So if I have cable and I have wire, I could improvise it. Let's go back up to the top floor real fast. We're going to go craft. And I wonder if I'm... The only reason I'm doing this, I'm actually... I know this is bad play and it's probably going to get me killed. But I want to test this out and see that if we fix our... If we go through here and if we fix the fuse box, can we teleport down to the 95th floor next time? Like, does it stay in the entire game so that it makes it easier as you go along? Because I think that would actually be a pretty major feature for me. Let's go ahead and craft the wiring. Got the electrical tape. We'll go ahead and make some cables. And then gears are made out of scrap metal. Okay, so we don't need that right now. However, we can upgrade the kitchen a little bit. If we could find some nails, we could upgrade our workbench. And I had all that stuff right there, but... Actually, no, I needed electrical tape before. Okay, so I wouldn't have had the stuff for it anyways, because I would have had to make the electrical tape. So it's all good right there. I would say maybe craft that. I don't know if it stays that way in between playthroughs, but it looks like we just unlocked a ton more foods, most of which seem to be, like, egg-related and... Ooh, fish and chips? That sounds hella good. Although, that looks like prawns in a bath of, like... I don't know. That kind of looks like scrimps. Or, like, that's right, I say scrimps. I say scrimps because I keep it real. No, we... Shrimps in there with like a whole bunch of peas and carrots on top. Like, ew, where's dinner ever? So upset right now. So disappointed, Mom. So disappointed. And as of right now, as I understand it, you are not able to break stuff down. I actually Googled it in between episodes to find out. And nope, you are not able to fix stuff like that. So let's say that I go down to here and I fix this. So now that we fix the wiring there... It only costs us a little bit of hunger to go back up. And so we can actually go down to the 91st floor if we wanted to. That fixed it for a whole bunch of floors. And then the first one that got busted after this is going to be right there. You know, I think it might be worth it to improvise it, in all honesty. Might be worth it. Let me see what happens when I improvise this. I want to find out. 
It worked. My efforts. Oh, it cost us 12 hunger, though. That's gnarly. Holy shit, that's bad. Okay, that was to be expected. We're going to start losing health pretty soon from going into rooms that we haven't cleared out yet. I'm also going to buy more medical supplies. We got a band-aid that time around. And then we're all out of change. That's okay, though. Because we got a little bit of health out of it, so I'll take it. On this floor, we're going to start losing health as we go into rooms here. Yep, and there's a monster right there. So this is going to become very, very cumulative for us. It's going to be problematic. We took 4.3 damage right there. God, we're so close to just two-shotting these things. He's down. We got a kitchen knife right there. We got another mob. This might be our last foray into the Sky Hill. Ooh, especially since he critted me. Bad luck. Got a nanner out of there, though. It's overripe. We're going to die either way, so gamble. Ah, and there it is. You are dead on the 81st floor. And so we slump over, and apparently we got some new things. So let's go take a look at those. All right, so play on normal. We got a couple of new perks, and we got a couple, so we get one passive and one active. We unlocked Rampage. You always strike first, you never give up, and you won't go down. Losing is only an option for your enemies, so you won't retreat from a fight. Okay, that could get you into trouble. Bulimia. You've always been concerned about your weight and how you've got, and now you've got bulimia. Spend only 50% food per turn, but be careful. Every time that you eat, there's a 25% chance to take as much damage as the food would heal. Oh my god. Okay, so that would be... That would be an issue. Hard times. When things get tough, your body won't quit. For the next 10 turns, your actions are free. That's pretty cool. And that's an active ability, so... You've prepared for the long road ahead. You have enough food for one, but only one totally filling meal. Ooh. Let's go with that one for right now. None of these ones seem attractive to me at the moment. If I had a better plan, I mean, I would want to work these into a build somehow. And since I'm not super familiar with the game so far... I would take this one, except... Except we ran into that weird ballerina dancer, I don't know, gymnast monster that wrecked us up hella hard and did like 20 damage in one turn. And it would suck to not be able to run away from one of those. So I'm just going to go with what we have right there for now. We'll try one of the bulimias out or something like that the next time. I'm going to skip the intro just in case you guys are like, eh, I want to see the storyline again. Go back to the previous episode. It'll be fine. All right. So we start out. We got our active ability up there, our survival kit. Just in case we got to get ourselves all nice and taken care of. I do like baby foxes, so that would work. Down we go. The leftmost room, we found a stick and a VIP key card. Sounds good, so that'll let us use the elevator from here on in. While I was there, I probably should have checked what the hell is that, butter? Cool. Butter and liquor, all you need to survive, butter and liquor, right there. I'm gonna go back up here real fast, and I wanted to see if the upgrades stayed inside of our base, or if... Oh, okay, so you gotta do them each time over again. Gotcha. So that leads me to believe that maybe you can't wire the elevators permanently either. Can I put in a weapon right now? I would love to have a weapon. No, use the stick. Use the stick, Luke. Okay, so we got four damage right there. It looks like we're going to be going speed build again. Unless, unless we get a better weapon drop in the next little bit. It takes a couple fights to level up anyways. And so, in the long run, I think we'll be alright. I wonder if you can increase your accuracy to the point... Where, you know, we died. We had death by banana last time. How wild is that? We could actually make a mop right now. We got a piece of wood and we've got the dowel. So we might be able to get them both going. Jeez, that freaks me out. Somebody throwing raw meat around here. Who throws raw meat? Who does that? Somebody around here throwing their meat through windows. That's a great way to end up in lockup. That is a class 2 felony, sir. Class 2 felony. Class A? I don't know. Do they use words or do they use numbers in the United States? I can't remember. So what I can do is I can make a mop right here, which will increase our chances of surviving by quite a bit, considering it does way, way, way more damage than just the dowel by itself. It also frees up some other stuff. Let's see what kind of food we can mash out here. Make a cheese sandwich if we had bread. We can make a sandwich with butter, too, if we had bread. I don't have any of that stuff. I do have liquor, though, so that might work. Huh. I can tell this game was made by somebody that appreciates liquor because you actually get stats back by using liquor. They'd be like, no, every other game, liquor debuffs you. Our game, liquor's going to make you stronger. That liquor's going to get you there quicker. So we've also got some water. We've got some painkillers. 
I'll probably let me take a look at some of the med kit stuff we can do if you have painkillers alcohol and bandages you can make a 50 HP med kit which means that you're getting 50 points out of a 35 point expenditure might be worth it the small med kit is the exact same thing you're getting 30 health out of 20 points total anyways but you're losing the ability to feed yourself so it's kind of it's up to you which one you would want to go with I can't do anything with the raw meat for right now, so I'm going to save the butter, and I'm going to save the cheese in case I find some bread around. But for right now, I'm pretty happy with what I have, so let's continue downwards. I'm thinking it might be a decent idea while you have all- Oh, we got another monster down here too. Ain't that a bitch. I mean, it's not that bad because I need to level up, so I accept this. Like, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like, you don't level up. I- Why are you blinking at me down here? I know that I can do special attacks, but I just don't like being special like that. I'd rather just mash it out the fun way. We got glue and we got a coin. That's actually going to be pretty helpful. We've got some pretty cool artwork right here. I always like the artwork that has weird geometric shapes and stuff. Like, I don't like totally abstract art, but I like stuff like that because you can sit there and look at it. I don't know, it looks kind of machine made and I enjoy things like that. I've always enjoyed like symmetry and like lines and shapes that are arranged in a way to where they're pleasing. Like an arrangement to one another. I think when people are start, when people take paintings like that right there, and they're like, "This represents life in the postmodern world," and they start like adding hella shit to it. I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's aesthetically pleasing, but I'm not totally sure it's all those things you just said. What is that? Canned food, and we also got a stiletto. So this would be the point at which we want to decide if we wanted to go with a speed build, or if we wanted to go because the stiletto does three to seven, whereas the mop does four to six. I think I'd rather take the lower... See, it just depends whether you want to hit for harder or if you want to be guaranteed the low blow. I tend to like my lower bound to be a little bit higher. That tends to be my preference when I play games like this. We got canned food right there, so we might as well, wha we might as well mash that out right now. Not even trip about it. That door was locked, so we can't get in there, so I'm not going to concern myself with it for right now. We have plenty of energy. This needs gears. Well, you lost some glue. There we go. It sucks that we lost our glue, and we lost 20 hunger, but at least that's all nice and done with for now. I think we've got, like, enough food supplies to where I'm not that worried about it. Go ahead and deal some damage here. I think this should be a level up fight for us. I'm not 100% positive, but I think we should level right here. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so we leveled up. We're going to go Dexterity build again because we picked up a Dexterity weapon early, so that would be my recommendation anyways. Is I've played Speed so far, and I've played Dexterity. I've never put points into Accuracy because I don't really know. I mean, if you could get enough points in there, I suppose you could start using some of like the double hit gambles and things like that, just hoping for the best, but I don't know. Some flour, got a generator, and some salad. That looked distinctly like broccoli. I don't know if I trust that. I don't trust broccoli, and it's bullshit. Broccoli is just like, it's like cauliflower. There's no excuse for it. Broccoli, cauliflower, all terrible vegetables invented by a mom somewhere that just wanted to make their kids miserable and healthy. Who wants healthy children? Who, who would do that to their child? It's messed up. I don't want to be healthy. Ma! I want to eat candy for dinner all day every day. I want to pick the marshmallows out of some... Is there anything in here? Woo! There's a pixel clock. I want to pick the marshmallows out of some Lucky Charms and just make cereal out of marshmallows. They make that, by the way. That's a real thing. When I was a kid, I used to wish that that was a thing, and then some enterprising engineer came along and was like, you know what, we need to make this a reality. It's made by a company called It's Sugar. You can actually, you can find them on the internet and you can order them. I got them at a candy shop and it's just a box full of Lucky Charms marshmallows. That's all that it is, so you can just eat the marshmallows if you're into that sort of thing. I won't just give up. That's absolutely correct. I will give up while crying, sniveling, and generally complaining because that's the kind of man that I am. Don't judge me. I'm fighting monsters with a mop. I'm fighting monsters with a mop right now. Empty right there. We have so much overripe food. I wish I could do something with some of it. We got a band-aid out of there, which I think is actually good because it means I can make a big med kit if I want to. Or a little med kit. Either way, it's going to cost me my liquor. Hmm. Got some mushrooms and two pieces of scrap metal from over there, so just in case we want to trip balls on our way down, we can do that. Should I go back up and craft? Let me take stock of what I have here. So the mushrooms will give me 12. I'm going to eat those right now just to even out my health a little bit. With the salad, what could I make? So with a fruit salad, 
Can't do anything there. A vegetable salad. So I would need some kind of other vegetable before I could get that done. And it looks like I can't make bread from scratch. I did that when I was a kid and it took forever. Seriously, it sucked. And it made the whole house smell all yeasty and gross, too. The smell of yeast gives me a headache. I can't stand it. It is the worst smell ever invented, ever. I like this game. This is one of those fire and forget games you can play on your laptop while you lo like while you watch Lost or something. I don't know, like, while you're doing something else, this is definitely the kind of game you can, like, sit and play. We got a little bit more flour right there. We got what looks like a battery, I guess. And on this side, we got some painkillers. I'm gonna go ahead and mash out... Man... I can make a good med kit right now, but it would cost me a lot of pointage. It would also require me to go back up to the top floor. Oh, you can make a med kit on the fly? So, what determines whether or not you need a workbench? Oh, it's got the little thing at the top right hand corner. Makes sense. So, if it can be like hand mixed or something like that, easy enough. But for all the other stuff, you gotta fabricate it. I need scrap metal for the nails. Gonna go ahead and use the med kit now because we're gonna get the full mileage out of it anyways. I keep forgetting that I have my survival kit too, so I can actually play the long game right now and wait it out if I want to, as far as our food is concerned. The best efficiency would be to use it right at one. We got bread right there and a pipe. Is the pipe a strength weapon or what is the pipe? The pipe is a strength weapon. That's definitely high risk, high yield though. That's not a weapon you want to use without a high bonus to it. The top end is pretty good, but it seems like dexterity weapons hit the least hard, but they have the best bottom range. Whereas speed weapons are kind of middle ground, and then strength weapons have like a really, really rock bottom low boundary and a really high boundary, or a really high upper bound. So it kind of depends on the way you want to play the game. If you think you're a bursty badass, you can make it happen. I'm going to try and kill this little prick before... Oh, shit. He stabbed me and ran away. Oh, bastard. Hey, I got glue to replace the glue that we lost, so that's pretty sweet. It's also something to sniff, just in case, you know, life becomes intolerable. I need gears. You know, I can probably craft gears before I can do anything else. I think we're only two floors away from an elevator. Oh, we got chocolate. A photo fragment. The only known survivor of the serial killer's attacks. Investigators are currently questioning the man. Police have yet to make a public statement, but the preliminary data suggests that the murderer, whom some refer to as the mechanic, suffers from sensory processing disorder and a rare type of psychosis, causing a severe disassociation from reality. Okay. Not gonna fix that one just yet, because I think there was an elevator up here that I could get back to first. So if we take that up to the VIP layer... Let's go to the crafting bench and we'll see what we can make out of all of this. I think I can make all we get can make chemicals really from where we're sitting. We got glue and water. We can make blades. We can make sticks and some other things. Okay. Sounds like a decent plan. I like the ambiance of the game too. Like I said, this is the kind of game that you can play with like your headphones off and just watch a TV show while you play it. Like it's engaging enough with the crafting and whatnot where you're constantly like looking for little things that you can cheat the system with. So I can make bread with butter, so let's make that real fast. That'll be good for right now, and so I'll eat that so that we have 72. I don't know what to do with these, and so I figure I'll probably just throw them away. The overripes are kind of a gamble. I don't know. I don't like playing around with them. Seem like the sort of thing that get me into trouble all the time. I have extra painkillers, but they're not quite ready yet. Let's have a look at what we can upgrade with our VIP room. So if we had another stick, we could upgrade the kitchen. If we had a bit of wood, we could make the couch better, but we would have to fiddle with a bunch of stuff there. It looks like we're actually lacking a number of things. Can I make a bit of wood out of anything? No, I can only make a stick out of stuff. Okay. So we're kind of in between a rock and a hard place right now. I guess I'll probably make some nails. Just so I, like, have them. And then I'll save the other sheet metal for later. But for right now, I think we're going to have to go back down. Let's go down to the 93rd floor. We're in pretty good shape right now. I'm actually really, really pleased with what we've got going on. I could try and improvise that right there. Let's do it. It worked! So we lost seven energy, but we can now go down a couple more floors before we get stopped up. How many coins do I have? None. Quick answer to a quick question. Antibiotics on that side in case I need it. Oh, we got the trader in here. He's also got a little bit of wood in his house. Hi there. I was the only one. I thought I was the only one alive. So he wants to trade a shovel for a blade. Why would I trade a full-on weapon for, like, part of a weapon? Seems like a bad call. If it was reversed, that'd be a super sick trade. But from where I'm standing right now, that seems like a bad trade for me. 
It looks like the power is working and gets us down to the 88th floor too. It seems like it's a pretty good plan to fix things as you go along and just hope for the best. Take that guy out right there. Oh, we got this guy too. Hold on, I gotta level up before I fight you. Dexterity! Way better than Dexterity. I always thought that that would be a super awesome like vitamin C supplement for gymnasts. You can call it Dexterity. See, people, I'm cutting people in on business opportunities right now, and nobody takes me seriously. I can make you rich, bitch. Well, probably not. It's a dumb idea, but it's an idea that I like. Mutant's blood, coin. We found some nuts in a drawer. Somebody popped their nuts into a drawer. And so, things to worry about, I guess, in the future. So, what does that do? It looks like it's actually got random bullshit inside of it. From the picture, it looks like it's got electrical tape, some other things. This one's a food vendor, obviously. We found a crowbar. Never seen that before. What does a crowbar do? It's a... Oh, you need dexterity 6 and speed 7. But that's quite a bit better than my mop. I didn't realize there was hybrid weapons. So our next level up's definitely going to speed. Because I think that'll put us in a really strong position. Can you use it anyways? Oh, look at that. You can. You can use it anyways, even though you don't have the skills. I mean, it's not going to be as good as what we have for right now. But I think I'll probably put my next level up into speed then, maybe. That'll raise our extra turn chance, maybe to 4 or 5%. And then, I wonder if it adds both bonuses. Like, you get the dexterity bonus and the speed bonus for the damage on that. That'd be super wild. Can I craft something out of these nuts right here? I feel like I should be able to. Oh, I need fruit to make that happen. And I don't assume rotten fruit will make that work, right? Okay. Alright, well, you know. Let me eat the chocolate real fast. Basically, anything that's not used in any of my crafting recipes, I'll probably take the pills right now too just to keep my health up a little ways I don't know what I should spend my coin on but I only have the one so I feel like I should make it last food is not a concern and so I'm thinking medical cabinet or this one right here is the better call we got another big guy in here let's go ahead and take him out real fast so if I go like this yeah 17 do you see that shit right there you see that shit and so now we can guarantee it with an arm strike and just get him on out of here two hits down he goes little bit of meat it's rotten though we got scrap metal we got a knife right there would have been useful on the first floor before I had allocated all my level ups and whatnot we got glue and a fish right there okay one fish two fish green fish glue fish and that should be all right we got a lot of weapons I do wish you could break stuff down it seems like a basic functionality where, for example, I mean, it could be, you could even give it a chance of failure, like a 50-50 chance. But even so, I just don't like having a full inventory. It's not even about the crafting parts for me. I just don't like having a whole bunch of bullshit in my inventory. I think you could drag them and drop them right there, but that just gets rid of them out of your inventory, and that doesn't feel right to me. But if you could, like, take a 50-50 chance to basically turn this into scrap metal, or to turn this into a blade, or to turn this into scrap metal, I think that would be a pretty cool feature. Can you do anything with fish for right now? I don't think I could do anything with fish. Oh, man. I didn't realize chocolate went in the shake. Damn it. I learned something today. I hate it when I'm forced to learn things the hard way. All right. Well, I suppose we shall continue. We will persevere. So do we gamble on this one? I think we gamble on this one. Get it. No. My gamble has failed me. I kind of want this to work, though. There it is. Flipping that coin. And down goes the monster. So we got a little bit more antibiotics right there. Oh, there's a dead guy. Blech. He looks like the angry, grumpy guy that's like the superintendent in every building in New York ever in every TV show. Like, what are you looking at? Yeah, I'll come fix the water later. A little bit of wood in there, which is good, actually, because wood, I think, is what we were lacking. And so is the power out right here? That one's gears. I'm gonna give it a go. It cost us eight energy to get that one finished off. You know, I think you've got like a 50, I don't even, I think it's actually, so what I would say, let's go for the arm hits, I, oh shit. Luckily, it worked out oh, balls. All day long, just trying to hit this fool. Ah. Bad day to be me right now. We got electrical tape, some water, and we got an egg, and we got some rags. Wow, we just got buku loot from this place. The next time we find somewhere to go back up to the penthouse, I think I'm going to go for it. So this would be our guy right here. Did we fight him already, or is this a new guy? So can you hit him anywhere special? I didn't even try with this guy. I like how the little portraits right here are what they're supposed to be. That's pretty sweet that that changes based on monster. I thought that it would just show the mutant every time. I'll probably just go for the default hits on him and see if I can get him down. 
There's 8.3 right there. Definitely an upper bounding fight. And he's going to run for it. Luckily, you get to fight him later, so it's not like a huge deal when he runs off. I know that would be upsetting to some players if he just runs off and gets all his health back on the next floor. So I want to assure you, you will fight him later on and he'll have like 2 HP left. And he probably won't run that time. Damn it. Yeah, I think we have enough stuff to where I should probably go back up to the previous floor and kind of just... Oh, there's a note right here. Somebody's note. Maybe no one will ever read this, but if you're out there, you need to know. There's always hope, even here. Never forget that. Got two coins. I haven't seen any vending machines around, though. Let's go back up to the VIP layer. It looks like you only lose two hunger every time that you do it, so it sounds great to me. On this side, let's have a look at what upgrades we can accomplish first before we do anything else. So, if we could go... Right now, we can go all in on the bed, which increases the health recovered while sleeping. Not a bad plan. We could also go all in on the workbench if we wanted to. I don't know what this does right here, but each door level reduces the chance of bad events while sleeping. Oh, so you can reinforce your door while you sleep. Interesting, I hadn't even thought of that. Hadn't even thought of that, but we would need a stick. And I think the stick is actually pretty expensive. It takes two wood. Yeah, so the stick is... Eh. Depends how bad you want it, I guess. Depends how bad you want it. I would say that the kitchen upgrade is probably a better choice. And then we take the bed upgrade and the kitchen upgrade, and that would be all that we could do with the wood that we have on hand right now. Anyways, I'm going to think about it for a minute. My name is Splattercat. I will see you guys in the next episode. If I could talk properly, this is called Sky Hill. I'll see you all next time.